Oh, hello guys, my name is Jack, and today I'm gonna show you how to turn basically any image into your mouse cursor. So basically, what we're gonna be using is this website, Conversio, or basically any other website that can allow conversion of images to the CUR file, which would be the cursor file. Alright, now that I've shown you that, why don't we check out where we go in Windows to change the mouse cursor A. Alright, so just open the search bar, type in mouse, and if you can click on to mouse settings, that's close enough. And then down here at the top right, there's additional mouse set options. So you can click that and then go over to pointers. And here is where you can change your custom mouse pointers A for all the different options that they have. The two most important ones, I think, are the ones that I've already changed for myself. So that'd be the normal select, and down here, it would be the link select. So those two are the ones you use pretty often, eh? So you want to be seeing them the most when you're using your custom cursor. Alright, now let me give you an example, eh? Okay, so we're gonna do a quick one from the converter. We're gonna choose a file. This red glowing thing is pretty cool, eh? So we'll just convert that. Or I do want a nice, pretty, sparkling, transparent thing, eh? Okay, now that the conversion is complete, we download it. And then here we go, it's in our downloads folder A. Now we go back here into our mouse properties menu and we choose the thing we want to replace. Oh, there's so many good options A, but I kind of want to replace the text select one. So I'll just go to browse and now I'll look in this PC and go to my downloads folder A. Now I've already downloaded a copy of this, that's why there's two, just to test it out before A. And then you click apply. Well now let's test it out eh? Or check that out, when I hover over the text, it turns into my image, because that's the text select option A. Eh? Or oh, that's pretty cool eh? Now I'm gonna show you how you can do it with Paint as well. So here's Windows Microsoft Paint, or Microsoft Windows Paint eh? And I'm just gonna paint a pretty shitty thing, and then we'll test it out eh? Or oh, yeah, that looks pretty sick, if you ask me. Or my drawing skills are top notch, eh? And we'll give it a red glow as well on the outside, eh? Oh shit, that's not the kind of glow I want, eh? Oh yeah, that's a little bit better, eh? And I'm gonna sign it as well. My name is Jack. Okay, and then we go to File, Save As. A PNG. Alright, sweet. Now that we have the PNG in our system, we can once again use the website. Oh, look at that, eh? My new cursor. And then we'll convert. Alright, and after it is done, we'll just download that as well. And then we'll go into our point options again. Or maybe this time I want to replace the vertical resize one. So we'll go back to browse. And jack cursor, eh? So you apply that, alright, let's test it on this one, eh? Oh, oh, there you go, eh? It's doing the jack thing. Oh shit, I should have done the transparent background, eh? But that's okay, because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna touch over one in Photoshop. As you can see, this is my logo, eh? So you're just gonna erase the background here. Alright, now we're gonna edit my logo a little bit, just to make it look a little bit cooler, eh? So I'm just going to do some stuff here in the background as I work a few things out, eh? Okay, now it looks a little bit better. We're going to remove the background after I do a little bit of a glow up, eh? Ooh, what kind of glow will I give it? Or some kind of sexy purple, perhaps? I do like my purple colours. They do look pretty cool, eh? Or maybe we could have used a gradient as well. Or, well, maybe next time, eh? Okay, as you can see, my logo is there and looking pretty sexy. I just used the black background there to make it look like it was uh, standing out for you guys. Oh, not JPEG, we gotta use PNG for this. Cool, so we'll just save it as a PNG and then we'll go back to our conversion site. Oh shit, I just downloaded that cursor again. Or let's go back and choose the file we actually want to use. 
Now here we go, the latest logo that I created into a PNG. Oh, and here we get it now, eh? We're gonna download it, and it's gonna come down here, and then we'll go back to our mouse cursor pointer options. And for this one, I'm gonna change the horizontal resize for. So we go browse, and we click that, and we apply, eh? And okay, we can close this now, and we'll test it out on this window again, eh? Oh, and there you go! Oh, it was a bit... It's a bit small to my liking, but as you can see, it works, and the cursor has been changed. So there you go, folks. That's how you make a custom cursor from basically any type of file. And if the file is not PNG, or then you can probably use the same website or something else to first convert it, eh? Or you can use it just straight up, because it'll probably support it maybe as well. Oh, but PNG is probably the best day. Eh? Okay, whatever, boys. That was the video, and I hope I'll see you again sometime soon, eh? My name is Jack, and have a good one.